Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun little video I wanted to do today talking about the kind of, um, I guess it's sort of like a meme type thing that's been going around with these e-girls. Uh, they post, you know, ridiculous pictures of themselves and then say something lame like, me or the PS5, me or the Xbox, blah, blah, blah. And it's just fishing for attention and validation. And so when I, when I saw these on Twitter, I was just like, oh yeah, you know, of course. But then you go and look at the responses, the thirsty replies, and they are just so embarrassing. Um, so I want to call these guys out. <laughs> and of course, we're going to call out the e-girls too. Don't think that we're gonna go easy on them, but here, here we go. Here, these women, oh my gosh. The, the arrogance, I think, is kind of stunning. But even more than that is the men feeding into this, right? So the first thing to point out with these girls is and I'm talking about a specific kind of girl, obviously not all women are like this, but when you give these women free attention, that is a problem. Women love male attention and validation. They live off of it. It is like, it's like a drug to them. It's almost like crack, right? If you take it away from them, where, what would they be? You know, you are, if you're one of these guys simping for these girls, you are giving them your time and attention. And you're telling them, you're communicating to them that they don't have to do anything to earn it. You're showing that you don't really value yourself. You don't value your own time and attention you show your low value by giving it away for free. You inflate her ego. And what are you guys getting in return? Like, I want to know what these people think that they're getting. Is this some kind of parasocial relationship? Like, what do they, what do they get by simping for these girls? And the other thing about this like meme of comparing yourself and look how dead in the eyes these girls are, my God, you're comparing yourself to an Xbox or a PS5. So what these girls are communicating about themselves is the only thing they have to offer is their body. They are saying that they are of lesser or equal value to an object or a toy. You know, you could argue whether a gaming console is a toy or not, but I think it's obvious that's what it is. So they objectify themselves, uh, which I find is funny. Like, don't you think you're worth a little more than that? Or it's the I'm not like the other e-girls, you know, type of thing. Like, yes, you are. You, but you want to know what is like more desperate and pathetic than an e-girl? The simps giving her money and attention and validation. You know, these girls basically come out and say, good morning, you losers. Today is payday. And you know how to celebrate that? Sending all of your money to your goddess, your waifu. Do you think you deserve to have any of that money? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. You're weak to me. Accept it. Give me your, the money, pay pigs. Like, I know there are some weirdos out there that enjoy being like dominated by women because y'all are freaks. You want your dommy mommy and all of that. But my goodness, it's super pathetic. The other thing to keep in mind here, and I wish that like all of you guys would learn this lesson, is the less available something is, the more valuable it is, right? If something is scarce, then its value goes up. Doesn't that make sense? That's like why gold is worth so much money, because it's rare. Uh, but 
these girls, they get this attention and validation all the time without having to do anything. They don't have to even lift a finger. They literally just put on some clothes, some makeup, take a picture of themselves and post it online. And because of the nature of social media, they get hundreds of guys validating them. Uh, stop throwing your hard-earned money at them. They don't like or respect you if you do that, and they never will. Like, why are you rewarding her for doing what? Uh, taking a selfie, you know, posing like a sleut? <laughs> Just saying. Uh, you give them attention because you think that one day she's going to bang you. And that's never going to happen. This is a business for a lot of these girls. Um, so they see it purely as transactional. The less attention you give a woman, the more she will value you. It's literally that simple. I mean, there could be some exceptions to that depending on the situation, but that seems to be, you know, a general thing that should be sort of common knowledge, you know? And there's also like a big difference in energy that you'll see in these women who've had their egos like massively overinflated. They think every guy wants them and they think they're like hot shit, you know, like, oh, look at me. He wants me so bad versus a woman that is unsure where you stand or where she stands with you, you know? She's not quite sure if you're interested in her, and it makes her act more humble and normal. Her energy would be more open and be like, oh, I can't believe this guy is talking to me. Like, she feels like she's the lucky one to be in your presence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, don't be a sucker, a chump, or an easy mark. These girls get barraged with free attention all day long. It's like giving crack to an addict. What do they have going on besides their looks? Like, in you know, how is that any different than other girls out there? There are lots of very attractive, you know, I would say over a five women out there. So, you know, you're not the only one, ladies. You are losing men. You are losing and wasting your resources, your time, your effort, and you're literally getting nothing in return. You are dealing with girls who probably grew up without fathers, without a strong masculine presence in the home, or they have um, bad relationships with their father. So they are they crave male attention and validation, and then they go about seeking that in unhealthy and sometimes toxic ways. Um, sometimes I feel bad for these girls, uh, especially the, I, I don't know if you want to call them sex workers or whatever, but um, their looks are not going to last forever. And uh when they get older, they're going to have very miserable, very sad lives. And you feeding them this attention while they're younger, you're validating bad life choices for them. So you're not actually helping them, you know, and then what happens to them when they're 40 and they're alone and childless and they're like a cat mom? Like, do you want to be responsible for that? No. So you don't reward bad behavior. The other thing is, you know, these girls have to regret putting these kinds of images that are, you know, very degrading um, on the internet. Like, isn't she embarrassed to look like that and like just be begging people for to give her attention and money? Like, I think that's embarrassing. And even more so for the guys who have given this girl money. I saw she Amaranth did a stream where she was opening up like fan mail from people and some guy, some schmuck, you know, sent her uh, this box that had like cash in it. He sent her like a brand new iPhone and like a bunch of other crap in there. And it was like, what are you doing? For what? Because of, by the virtue of her existence? So you're just validating her uh, and her ego? You know, it, it just is, it's not healthy. It's very sad. But I would just say, 
you know, keep in mind, men, like, stop giving up your power, okay? Like, y'all act like bitches. You act like betas. You act like orbiters. And then you're like, oh, you know, you blame women for, like, your bad problems with women. No, it's not women's fault. That's your fault. <laughs> Just saying, you know. Um, but understand that women can't live without male attention. They secretly enjoy and love being like catcalled and flowered with compliments. Um, there are there have been a lot of women who, at, when they're younger, they say they don't like that stuff, you know, and and they shame people for catcalling or whatever. But as they get older and they that attention has dried up, you know, they're they wish that somebody would do that to them to make them feel special. So yeah. Uh, keep in mind that women compete for male attention. That is something they do. They look at how much time and effort they put into trying to make themselves appear more attractive than other girls. You know, they buy these clothes, they, they will alter their appearance, they'll get, you know, cosmetic surgery, all to compete with other women for male attention and validation. So, why are you just giving it to them for nothing? You know, you guys that are out there liking all the their photos on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever, uh, paying for their OnlyFans accounts, feeding them with constant praise, validation, affection, all the while these girls are adding no value for you. Like there's no value exchange here. And the girls are not contributing or adding anything. It is a one-sided relationship with the e-girls. It's a parasocial weird thing. And so that's my thoughts on this. If all of you guys, all of the incels, whatever y'all want to call it, all of the men out there that are simping for these girls, if you all just collectively removed your attention removed your validation, removed your money from these girls, they would go nuts. They would lose their minds. They would be so angry, <laughs> you know, and then they would have to start earning it and treating men with more respect. So those are my thoughts on this. Um, and I'm sorry to be playing the the slideshow of these video or of these images, but uh, it's just like, I don't know, I find it stunning. This is how I feel though after <laughs> after seeing this stuff on the internet, I feel very bad for these women, but I feel uh, worse for the guys, the simps who encourage it and inflate their egos, which are already in many cases massively overinflated and are just setting them up for a future of misery, but part of me also feels, you know, not that bad for the girls either, because they need to learn some self-respect and some respect for others as well. And they need to be humbled, you know, humble these girls, stop giving them free attention. <laughs>